What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dusty D Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. In this episode we're going to be talking about the exterior preparations before polishing your actual trailer. Now there's a lot of great content out there that talks about how to polish and whether you're going to do it do it yourself or send it to somebody. I first and foremost say always do your research when it comes to doing any type of work that maybe you're not experienced with. My brother and I have been going back and forth uh, through this project just talking about different things that I've been doing, sending him updates. And Recently he kicked over an uh, individual that he came across where he's at towards Lubbock, Texas, which is Texas Polishing over on Instagram. They also have a YouTube channel and let me tell you that guy does phenomenal work. I've spent uh, quite a few hours just watching him and really watching the explanations of his DIY tutorials on the three-step process that he uses when it comes to polishing the right way and the work he does over there is absolutely phenomenal. I wish I was actually closer to where he was at just so I could stop in and kind of pick his brain a little bit more but uh, I definitely feel that uh, with his content and the stuff that he's put out I'm very comfortable in doing this uh, as we move forward. Now prior to even coming across this stuff and doing all the research and everything that I knew I was going to do with Dusty I actually knew that I was going to be picking Zephyr products when it came to the polishing process. So that kind of was a two birds with one stone, knowing that this guy that I believe is great in what he does uh, is by far a uh, only user in Zephyr products. And that's exactly what we're going to be using on Dusty. Now, depending on what you have to do for your preparations uh, for exterior, whether you're already fully completed with your trailer or you're just getting to that process, is all dependent for you. But for me, what I wanted to do was remove everything when it came to that exterior lights, all the letters, uh, specifically any uh, valves, um, any connection points, everything windows. I want everything fully removed so when I go to just actual polishing, it's completely just the outer shell. And so that everything else is going to be new or like new when we put it back together. And that's exactly what the way I want it. I don't want to have to put new stuff on or old stuff that still needs to be worked on and polished after the polish process. I just want to go from the polish to uh, bolt together everything and then specifically just move right into the inside knowing that the full exterior is complete. So far I've been a little ahead of you guys as far as the removal of stuff. Obviously as this project has developed over the course of the last several months there's a lot of stuff that I've physically removed in preparations of doing other projects. Things like the um, spring-loaded antennas, your typical exterior lights, some of the letters that we had to remove on the rear for the panel, uh, and pretty much everything has been fully removed, even ahead of this video. I have gone since then. I've removed the awning. I've taken out just about every window other than the dual pane windows, uh, and the only thing really left I have is the three vent uh, roof vent covers, uh, which are pretty much just up here two up towards the front and of course the one in the rear. Some of the vents I've already taken off, obviously the original stove vent right here, the one of the uh, vents for tanks has one back there and of course I've already removed this exterior as well on the rear. This will go for the black tank. So pretty much everything exterior has been removed. I've obviously removed the molding trim, most of the badges uh, that need to be removed. And the only thing that needs to be removed really are, like I said, the three roof vent caps and the front letters for the airstream letters. Other than that, that's pretty much what I'm gonna remove and start those preparations uh, as we get ready for polishing. Waiting on a few of those products to get in, uh, which are gonna be here sometime this afternoon. And so I suspect tomorrow I will start the polishing process and the second part of that video. So let's go ahead and move to the exterior of this trailer, take a look at some of that stuff as far as where the preparation's at, and then getting ready to start the polishing process of Dusty. So here we go, let's go outside and take a look at what we've got so far. All right, so we're going to remove every window frame after we polish it, as well as these two front windows after we polish it. I will then clean up these windows and then we'll replace it back in. But I want to get the thing fully polished. One of the things I uh, will definitely remove prior to that is this light exterior. So we'll get that uh, removed prior to that. 
And then of course, after polishing, I will then pull these windows out by removing all the rivets around. And from there, uh, we will redo these windows and then put them back in. I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube where people had uh, pretty much an impossible time removing the splice bar that holds the two windows together here. And the reason for that is because watching their videos, they completely remove this window with the other window and this whole unit as one from the trailer and then try to remove this splice bar. And I'll tell you right now, you'll never get that completed. It's not how it's intended for. These splice bars are made to be removed and installed when this unit assembly is installed into the trailer and riveted in place, and then you can do it. These splice bars just pretty much slide down and you'll have to use a hammer up here to actually hammer it in and to remove that i actually used a little pry bar put it at a little angle right here and just used a hammer and kept hammering up on it until it came off just like that you will have to replace them obviously because you can see the other side uh they will damage so I ordered them off of High Sky RV parts. I want to say they're like 25 or 30 bucks uh, and shipped out really quickly. I already have them. So they're ready to go back in once we remove those and clean those windows up. So the other thing we're going to have to remove is these letters up here. It's just going to make the polishing process a lot easier as you get in to make sure you get every piece of metal, even in the uh, parts of like the R and the A's. So we want to make sure we capture everything. Obviously spring loaded antenna is removed. We will replace that. I've got a new one already here Here's the other window. You can see when we did the exterior panel We already had to remove these rivets. So we're kind of ahead on this process on this side And like I said, we'll replace not replace but remove them and reseal these after the polishing process on each side Here's the badge when it was removed you can see all the dirt and stuff that got behind it, so we're going to make sure that gets all cleaned up nice and everything flows evenly with the look on the polish exterior. And of course, as we move to the back, these exterior lights have already been removed, as well as in the front. We are going to remove these so I can refinish all of this and then reseal it. And then, of course everything else this will get uh removed as well even though i riveted this all in place we're gonna take them out and uh reseal everything as well as this rear light this has already been removed obviously so that's good to go awning bracket which was originally here that's off and gone same with the body molding all the way to the badge and of course we have pictures of this this is going to be redone in the inside and uh, we'll obviously put all of the original stuff not this but we'll get a new one that will make it look original uh to mark off all the states at least this trailer has been in and continue that legacy with dusty now i thought about removing these but no really uh real reason to so we're going to just leave them and then i will taper everything off after that process and we will finish these badges as well as how you will leave this one here
So all I did was just basically heat it up out here to soften the uh, Sega Flex that was here, which makes it really easy with a uh, scraper, gets it right off, down to the rivets, which just were drilled out with a 1 8 inch drill bit. And then of course, the whole thing just went out that way once the fiberglass cover was off from the internal side. And with that, that means all of exterior pieces that I wanted officially removed ahead of the polishing process is officially removed, which means we're going to wrap this video up and I'm going to head over to start the process of polishing. Sounds like USPS just pulled up to deliver exactly what I need for that. And so that's exactly where I'm switching over to and starting the next video, which is going to be the polish exterior of Dusty. Guys, I thank you for all the comments you've been giving me, all the support that you continue to give me. If you haven't already, go down hit the subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with Dusty. And as, as always, until next time, this is Danny signing out.